You can start the pay run by clicking on Pay Employees icon or clicking the Employee Center icon and then the Payrolls tab. Before starting a pay run for the first time, you should check a couple of configuration items. In Edit, Preferences, Payroll and Employees, ensure that these items are selected. Full Payroll, Super Payment Date on Payslip, and it is recommended that Calculate Risk Difference for SA and CA payroll items is also selected. In the Employee Records, you should list the recurring payroll items in their pays to reduce the actions required during the pay preparation. For efficient processing of super contributions in accordance with SuperStream regulations, we suggest you ensure that the employee has a date of birth entered, the correct address, an email address, and an employee number assigned. To start a simple pay run in the Employee Centre, click on the Payroll tab and then the Pay Employees button. Here, first check two key items, the bank account and the super date payment. That is, the date the super contributions in this pay will be delivered to the employee's super fund. Now, you can select the pay period end date and then the date the pay will be paid to the employee. The background is now complete. Now, tick the employees that will be paid on this pay run and then click on Open Paycheck Detail button. You will see the details from the employee record populate here. In this case, it's just a salary and a super item. Do a quick check of elements here. Expected super date. An employee number appears. An appropriate tax code selected. The correct pay period appears. An amount appears in the accrued field for the relevant holiday items. For a simple pay, there may be nothing more to do, so we can click on Next to review the next employee. You can add additional items here as either a one-off item or add it permanently to the employee record. If an item you wish to add does not exist yet, you can click on Add New and Add It. Review the employee summary to assess that no step has been admitted and the calculations are broadly correct. Ensure that the net pay amount is at least zero. Click Next to move to the next employee. This employee has an hourly pay rate, so no gross amount will calculate until a number of hours is entered. Note that until hours are entered, the accrued holiday amounts remain at zero. Once entered, all the hourly pay dependent items will calculate. Quickly scan the employee summary that amounts appear correct and click on Next or Save and Close. You'll now see a summary table of pays. When you are happy this is correct, click Continue. Otherwise check the employees that need investigating and click Open Paycheck Details. You'll get the message that the pays are processed and the option to complete or print pay slips. Your simple pay run is complete.